Battles rage in Gaza as the Israeli military says it's expanded military operations and its forces are still in the field. The army entered northern Gaza overnight as its fighter jets struck 150 targets. The sites hit included tunnels and underground combat spaces. The military also said one raid had killed the head of the Hamas's area array who helped plan the October 7th attack. Meanwhile, Israel says they are broadening humanitarian efforts and would allow trucks carrying food, water and medicine to enter southern Gaza today. And in Gaza, two large explosions have been seen as Israel knocked out communications via airstrikes and artillery fire. Hamas pledged to confront the Israeli air attacks with full force. And the group also says a ceasefire is required for the release of hostages. Our correspondent Noura Harazin in Gaza and Josashi in Tel Aviv gives us more details on the large explosion seen in Gaza Strip and how the communications blackout is hindering rescue work. There's no connection in Gaza, there's no internet, no networks, and nothing. We cannot call each other, we cannot uh, go on the internet. We rarely get the information from uh, other uh, journalists who are uh, close to the uh, area. Uh, the latest that we got that there was an intensified Israeli uh, strikes overnight and also this morning on uh, the Gaza Strip, one uh, air strike or several air strike that struck the Ashata refugee camp, which is such a densely populated area. We're talking about refugee camp. Basically, thousands of families are living there just next to each other. This uh, strike, and according to the Palestinian Health Ministry, more than 40 people were killed in that uh, strike alone. Um, also, according to the Health Ministry, more than 7,300 people have been killed. Uh, according to the UN, they already distributed some of the food packages to Palestinians who are taking shelter in UN schools. They also deliv uh, delivered the uh, flour to some of the bakeries to start producing the uh, bread. And they also filled the water tanks in some of the hospitals and some UN uh, schools. Uh, however, as I said at the beginning, this um, aid that is entering the Gaza Strip is not enough uh, for and to meet the needs of the uh, and the hardships of the people here in Gaza. Here we can just imagine what the situation from that side could be because through the whole morning till the afternoon, the constant strikes, ear strikes from this side. Also, we also hear the sustained, you know, small armed on fires from this side. And now, as we have heard from the Israeli defense uh, forces say that now the military has expanded its uh, ground operation. Previously, we saw those military enter Gaza and withdrew. But from last night, uh, what we heard is that now the infantry uh, the combat engineering and also the armed forces now inside of Gaza, what they are going to do is they want to try to s install deployment there to try to see uh, if the if there is uh, the boom bat trap, uh, as, as we also discussed about the Hamas underground infrastructure could be the threat. But now it's kind of like process of how Israeli people, how Israeli military wanted to respond to uh, the October 7th attack.